Let Me In is a really interesting story. This is written by Claire McGowan. It was published in 2023 by Thomas and Mercer. And I don't want to spoil too much about it, so I'm not going to go into too much detail because I definitely recommend it. There's only really one thing that I didn't like about it, or one thing that I didn't believe, one thing that I don't think worked very well. But it's a small thing, but it is a bit of a spoiler, so I'll mention that at the end. But other than that... I really liked it. I will say I didn't really care for the protagonists. Helen and George, they're a married couple who are moving to their new home in Cornwall. I didn't dislike them. I just never really cared about them. I never found that I was getting behind their journey in any emotional way. But there are other characters I did really like. So it's not ideal that I didn't love those characters. But it was enough still for me to keep reading the narrative. The, the story is so compelling that it didn't really matter to me that I wasn't that bothered about Helen and George. So they're moving to this new home and immediately Helen has some weird kind of memory or sense of deja vu about this home. But she doesn't really quite know why. And then when they talk to people in the village, there's definitely something very mysterious about this home and the history of the house and we do begin to learn things quite early on we get small bits of the puzzle fed to us to kind of you know hook us in and keep us interested but I don't want to give away anything at all because I don't want to spoil it too much but certainly that mystery element I was really interested in I also found it to be very unpredictable and that's always something that I really love. The book actually does something that ordinarily I do not like, but it worked really well. And that's that we have the narrative told from different perspectives. And normally I can't stand that, but actually it it did. It worked really well. And what I, I think worked well about it is that we actually have a lot of information from one narrator before we switch to the next. It's not constantly jumping around back and forth. We get a good chunk of the story told from Helen's perspective to begin with. And then after a decent amount of time, and we've had enough time to follow her part of the story, it then switches to George. And then the same again with a couple of other characters. And every time it switches, we get obviously a different perspective, but we also learn something about the story that the other character wouldn't have been aware of and they wouldn't have been able to tell us. So it does work really well. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a fun mystery. It's very well written. It's very suspenseful. And apart from one tiny thing I'll mention in a moment, I don't really have any complaints. If it sounds like your kind of story, it's definitely worth checking out. I really enjoyed reading it. To the extent where I've actually just put another Claire McGowan book on my Kindle. I can't remember which one, but I'm looking forward to checking that one out too. But for now, I really, really thoroughly enjoyed Let Me In. So, a bit of a spoiler, just the one thing that was just... It felt really lazily written and very unrealistic. So this is a spoiler for something that's revealed that I didn't see coming. And it's the fact that... Helen found out about George. I won't say exactly what she found out, but you'll you'll know what I mean when you read it. And she then tracks George down. And all she knew about him was his first name, the year-ish he was born, and the fact he lived near the Thames. That's all she had about him. And this was in, I think they said 2004. Certainly it was early noughties and obviously... Social media stalking definitely wasn't a thing compared to today. And yet she managed to find out which university he went to. And it just made no sense whatsoever. And it just felt like a really lazy way to move that part of the story forward. Yes, the reveal that she already knew who he was I thought was brilliant. But the way that came about was just, I almost want to say impossible. There's no way she could have found him based on that little information. Uh, At least not so quickly, maybe eventually after years and years of finding many people called George, but it just didn't feel believable and it felt quite sloppy. It might have made sense if George had never moved out of the area or if perhaps he'd grown up with his birth father and his birth father had known about him then that kind of would have worked. There are other ways that this could have been done 
But based on the information that Helen had, I just don't believe it. And it really annoyed me because it felt really sloppy and really lazy and unrealistic. But everything else worked so well that I'm willing to overlook it. Ultimately, that aside, Left Me In is a novel that I really thoroughly enjoyed.